Well, hello there. I'm the Ranger, and today I want to show you the product I use when I go camping for mosquitoes. I got two more hours before the sun sets, so I'm going to show you my what I use to repel mosquitoes. Let's begin. Well, hello there. I'm the Ranger, and don't forget, I'm a fictional character for this channel. That means anything I say can be fictional in your mind. Thank you. Enjoy the video. Here's my top items that I like to use when I go camping. Some of this pro product is close where you can use all the time and some of this product you can spray your camp or your property. Let me show you the things I do not use no more. I do not use this brand. I find it worthless. I do not use Tiki Torch fuel no more. I use diesel with a tiki torch now you're ready to go camping and you want to bring some items with you or a couple items so you can spray your camp while being bugged by mosquitoes I recommend to buy the off spray nozzle in one of these containers buy one of these containers Fill it up with one of these items, then put the rest with water, pump, pump it, and go around and spray the ground, the leaves, the trees, the branches. Everything you want to do is spray with this stuff, and it does work. But don't buy the Make sure you get the off. This is a very good brand. I use this a lot and it does work. This one also works. This is the second brand I buy. If this one's out, I buy this brand. Now you want to put something in your clothes. Well, I forgot this one. This one you put in your truck or your car, your vehicle or your backpack. When you get to your camp, Take this out and spray the ground where you, you're going to put your tent or your hammock. This keeps the bugs away. Now for personal use, if you can't take other, try this, 100 deep. Make sure it says 100 deep or it's not going to work very well. What happens if you're allergic to it? You could buy one of these. Open it up and spray the little screen. There's a little screen in there. And got a little fan. So you can spray that. Now, another item that I use to keep the bugs away is this product here. Spray your tent, your clothes, before you go out. I used to go out when I go to check my camps and I come home with the triggers. Putting this on, I stop itching. It does work really well. I'm, I, I assure you, it works good for chiggers and mosquitoes. I don't have them flying around on me, but make sure you spray this where you're not wearing your clothes. Now, the, the last and most biggest thing that I recommend is the 15 and the, and the refills. This thing works. I'm telling you. It works. You can buy the little round container that looks that goes on your your patio picnic table, and it just gets rid of them. This one can, comes with a pouch. You can place this pouch on your bag, which I have one, or I find the pouch that fits, and I carry this with me all the time. When I get to camp, I turn it on and place it in the middle where I'm at, or try to wear it. 
But walking with this or hiking with this or jogging, it's just worth, worthless. I mean, it's not going to help. You got to have this stationary where you at. And it does work. Now, the tiki torches with the tiki torch stuff, this stuff does not work well. Diesel. I use diesel with tiki torches around my camp. It does work. Don't forget, I was, I was tagged to show you my bug repellent from mosquitoes, them bloody vampires. And I'm going to show you the prices that I paid for this product. The cutters. The diesel is $3, and it fills up a, like 10 tiki torches. I will show you the, tell you the price. The cutters cost me 30 bucks. The mosquito and the refills cost me 39 bucks. The cutter, I mean the back off, which I recommend first cost me 10 bucks and the cutter backyard cost me 11 bucks doesn't mean how much it costs it's how well it works you can go out and buy a million dollars million dollar device and I can make this device for two dollars and still have a better product paying the price don't mean you're going to get good quality remember that these are the items I use when I go camping and when I go car camping or camping, I usually bring the spray bottle or the cutter plus the backyard. And if I spray myself, it will be this. Now remember, each person is going to have a different reaction to chemicals. So test it before you use it. Spray a little bit on an alcohol swab, then put it on your arm or smell it and see if you get a little ill with the smell. That's how you can tell if you're or allergic to it. To see if you're allergic to an item, take an alcohol swab, place a little bit on the alcohol swab, and smell it, and put a little bit on you. If you break out or you get hot, you know you're allergic to an item. So always test an item before you spray yourself down with a chemical that might you might regret. I'm the Ranger. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. They do help. See you next video.